All right, so we are finally here at Christmas in the Park. The last time I was here was in 2020, and I remember we were preparing for that event long ago. So I'll start with you, Alton. How long has this tradition been going here in Quero? 1999 we got started. We just had a Christmas tree in the gazebo <laughs> in the park and lights around it. And it was a bunch of retired guys that uh -huh. set up everything. Now the city has picked up. Oh, that's so great. And we still help out where we can. So now, it, what started off with just one or two little things it here seems. at the gazebo has now turned out to be a whole trail of light. Right. So what are we looking at now? What should we expect if we're first timers here? You can expect to see up to 250 lighted displays and growing. We've added seven new displays just this year. We offer free hot chocolate nights on Thursdays in December from 7 to 9 p.m. Cool. That is sponsored by Trust Texas Bank. Uh, they have been a very giving organization in our community and they continue to help us including this year. Y'all really do just go all out and it's so magical. Everything's starting to pop like you say because the sun is slowly setting. It's a wonderful place. It is. It Thank is. you for coming. All right, Christmas in the park starts now. Woo. Most people don't know that a lot of these displays are in honor or in memory of someone. And so the story behind each display is just so touching because we get to be a part in remembering someone who was special to another person. Each of these displays actually has a unique story to it. And these all represent the founding fathers of Christmas in the Park who have actually gone on and are angels in the heaven now. Oh, this is so cool. Now a little archway of lights and candy canes. And of course, you gotta have a cowboy hat and cowboy boots because we're in Texas, y'all. I love it! This is such a great way just to start off the night. Christmas in Quero is super magical, y'all. So we just came from Christmas in the park, but now we are here Christmas in downtown Quero. So what all can we do here? Well, you can do, most that we do every year is we have horse and carriage rides, very romantic. We had an engagement last year. Oh my God. We did, it's wonderful. <laughs> We've got the ice skating rink, the kids are having a ball. Yeah. Uh, we have the world's tallest Santa bounce behind us. Uh, we have a Christmas market over here. We've got a petting zoo and uh, we've got carousel rides over here and we've got a food trucks and we've got all of our downtown shops that you are You really today. do have it covered. We do. Every square inch of Main Street as well is just loaded with Christmas spirit. It's Friday night from 6 to 10 annually, second weekend in December. Okay. Saturday from 12 to 10. We've had stilt walkers come by. We oh. have had a, a gospel group last night. So Amazing. we've grown it every year and we're just, we're having a ball. People yeah. the kids see costumes and they are just, their faces light up. So the best way to support Quero is by getting all of your Christmas gifts right here at the market. And I'm already on theme for the wine right here. So first stop. Have a little bit of some Texas wines that are picked specifically up in Texas. So only about 20 minutes from Quero. Really close hometown hospitality. A little piece of the Texas Hill Country right here. Mmm, it smells so great. Ooh, that goes great with like Christmas everything, like appetizers, meals. You could drink this with a little bit of Absolutely. everything. My mom would love this. So mom, you're getting one of these yeah. for Christmas. <laughs> oh, 
I do recycled glass. I use Coke bottles and wine bottles. We cut them down into one inch rings, put it in my kiln. I have two kilns which run 24 7, melt it down, and that's what turns out to the glass rings which we have here. Oh, wow. Time to put the ice skates on, and we're gonna ice skate here in Texas. Ah, okay. Ah! <laughs> Does it look like I'm skating? <laughs> this is the best it's gonna get. Think I got it. Michelle Kwan, Chrissy Amaguchi right here. So this is a lot harder than it looks because we Texans aren't cut out for this, but we're gonna work on it.